welcome back to part two of this cheer hair and cheer makeup tutorial and so if you want to see how I did this look then I'll leave the link in the description box below but this video is going to be how I do my cheer hair for competitions so this isn't sponsored but I thought I'd let you know that I did get sent this AO cheer gear bow and also got sent the rock your hair spray it big volumizing hairspray I truly do love these products so I'm never gonna say anything on my channel if I didn't actually think they worked. So thank you so much AO Cheer Gear and Rock Your Hair Australia for sending me these amazing products. So if you want to see how I do my cheer hair then please keep watching. So the first thing I recommend is starting with straight hair. If you want a straight ponytail then I definitely recommend straightening your hair beforehand. I want a curly ponytail then I would curl it now so I'm gonna have a straight ponytail because I feel like that suits me the best and I also thought I'd mention that this is like my favorite thing ever for doing cheer hair and this is a teasing comb and I'm pretty sure it's from price attack or any sort of like hair place so they should carry these so definitely recommend getting one of these and I'm gonna use it for like the whole tutorial because it's so good you make like a U shape with your hands and you just want to sort of pick up that thickness of hair like so and then just brush any excess down so you want about that much hair and as you can see it's just created a U shape so once you have your U shape you can just let that go and try and just tie up any excess hair that you might have at the back and this is just going to make it a lot easier now I'm just going to brush this hair out and this is going to be our hair for our poof. So once we've made our U shape, I'm going to take the end of the comb and I'm going to take a thin, thin, thin layer. So the thinner the layers you go, it will be the more stable you have your poof. And this is because it will make it a lot more compact and tighter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm just going to tuck that behind my ear. So I'm just going to take my Rock Your Hair Volumizing Hairspray and I'm just going to spray that in the roots. Now I'm going to hold this really lightly and this is the trick to having a really good tease. So I'll hold that lightly and you just want to start teasing the roots. And you can go on either side and you just want to start teasing. So the lighter you hold, the easier it's going to tease. So it should look like that. And then you just want to repeat that on every single layer. Also, I just wanted to mention the dirtier your hair is, the easier it will stay and tease. So I definitely recommend not washing your hair if you're doing day two. So if I was competing on a Saturday, for example, I wouldn't wash my hair from like at least Thursday. So for the last layer, I don't usually tease it because it's going to cover all of the sort of like frizzy tease. So I'm just going to start smoothing the puff with my comb. And then I'm going to hairspray and then I'm going to slightly brush it. But you don't want to add too much hairspray because you don't want it to look wet. But this hairspray is really good for making sure that doesn't happen. So now I'm going to take this little elastic and I'm just going to tie that puff up. So you're just going to pick up the hair and then tie it. And I find that this makes it stay in for a lot longer. Now I'm taking some bobby pins and I'm going to pin that. And it depends on how high you want it. You could go that high, which don't recommend going that high. But you could go, I go mine from probably around there. I'm just going to pin that. So once I've pinned that, I can take this bottom hair out. And now I'm going to tie my hair into a ponytail. And I find it easier if you flip your head upside down and then tie it. So sorry if my puff looks a little bit different. <coughs> so sorry if my puff looks a little bit different. It's because 
didn't realise that my camera wasn't recording while I did my whole ponytail and then so I had to brush it out and if you've done your hair before and teased your ponytail you know how hard it is to take it out especially when you have a very strong hairspray so I just put my Aochi gear bow in and I just wanted to mention that Aochi gear bows are so cool because they're so different to a normal bow they're like printed on they're really good quality and also the elastic that comes with doesn't break it's because they did send me um, the bow but they also sent me lots of the little hair elastics and I've been using them ever since and like literally they don't snap they're so good and so that comes on with the bow and the bow just looks cool in general how pretty is it so for my ponytail I'm gonna flip it over and then I'm gonna take a very thin layer and then I'm gonna spray it with hairspray and then I'm going to start teasing. And then I'm just going to keep repeating that through the whole head. And in between each layer I'm spraying my hair with the Rock Your Hair hairspray. So when it comes to the last layer, I'm not going to tease it. I'm just going to I'm just going to spread it out between the whole puff, and that's just going to make sure it's nice and smooth, and you don't see any of the teasing. And then I'm just going to use my brush and just lightly brush that all together. And then I'm going to finish it off with the volumizing hairspray. You just want to keep playing around until you've found that nice shape. And then I'm just going to pin down the flaps of the bow just so that they don't come up. Now I'm just doing one round of the Rock Your Hair hairspray and I'm going to use my comb to make sure that the sides of my hair is really slipped back. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and also if you learned anything don't forget to tag me on Instagram. So thank you Rock Your Hair Australia and Ayo Chi Gear for sending me these amazing products to share with you guys. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!